morning, everybody, and welcome to The Art of Fire. Thanks for joining us. I'm Susan. Bruce is taking a well-deserved break from us today, so I foolishly volunteered to work in his place today. So y'all are stuck with me because I'm not the best at narrating, so you will have to give me a little bit of a leeway here. But I will do my best to keep you company for this next two hours. This is our studio. This is our gallery. All the wonderful things the guys have made throughout the last couple of months. There's, whoops, I'm stuck. There's Theta over there. Hi, Theta. Hi, guys. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Thanks, yes, we look so much alike. Fair, fair, great compliment, great compliment. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, how is everybody? We're doing fine. What we're going to be doing for you this morning to start is we're going to be doing a uh, custom wine glass uh, that's going to be clear. Josh will pick up some clear glass on a bit iron or a pontal iron run it through some white colored glass. We're going to apply that to the surface of the gathers of glass that I get for the cup of the wine glass. And then um, we'll actually then add some gold leaf on top of that. And we'll, uh, that will be the cup portion. It'll be a double Marie's stem. We'll turn that around, of course, and open it up so that you can drink out of it. While they discuss what they're doing, I'm going to go over here and show you what they did last week and say congratulations to Mary Grace Hoag. This is the signature shot glass from last week that was our giveaway, and Mary Grace is the winner of that. And the giveaway for this week is this awesome flask. I'm going to hold it up to the window hopefully you can see the colors in that. It is gorgeous. Of course, I'm a big fan of blue, so I might be a little biased, but that's our giveaway for next week. So get all of your comments in and make sure that you're entered to win that. It's awesome. All right. So, all right. Are we ready to get started? All right, guys, get to work. Chop, chop. All right. Yeah. So equal to uh, what is it? White share. Yes. Which what? is what gets you into the into the pool. Everybody into the pool so that you can win next week's gift, which is I think Susan pointed it out. But you can't yep. it. Yes. As Foster said, do the likes and the shares. That's how you get entered for the flask. I haven't called anybody out yet, so good morning to all of you, Joanna, David, Renee, Pamela, Kimberly, I've just, Sharon, I've gotten way behind in everybody, so thank you all for joining us from all over the place. We're happy to have you here as always. Whoops, I'm doing this right, right? Is it, should it be horizontal? No, 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 okay. Okay, so I have my first gather of glass on the end of the pipe. And you all know by now why we turn the pipes, because it helps keep the glass centered on the end of the pipe. If we don't turn the pipes, gravity's pulling the glass to the ground, at least when it's hot. And of course, what's Bruce's favorite line? David I, Hogan? David Hogan, what is it? <laughs> I think you've got Hi. it in the neck. Um, what do they call it with the initials? Yes. Yes. Hot glass moves, cold glass don't. There you go. That's there we right. go. So, I went ahead and pulled and shaped the glass with the block, which is made of cherry wood. 
glue into the pipe, check here with my finger, and we're going to let this cool down or stabilize a little bit, temperature-wise, so that I can get the next gather or wrap of glass. And then Josh is going to get some clear glass on the end of a bit, bit iron, and we'll go from there. All right, we're gonna try something because our connection's not so great. So if we lose you, we'll be right back. All right, hopefully we didn't lose anybody. Sorry about that. Being out, out in the here, so as you guys know, our connection is always a little dicey. So we are on Wi-Fi now. Foster and Foster and Josh are dancing around each other trying to get everything done. And this is what Josh is doing. He's gathering over this white powder over the clear. He's going to go through that four times to get enough light to do this misty sort of smoke effect on the top, on the outside of Foster's uh, wine glass. And also, we're also going to do a decanter for this. It's a custom order for a customer who came in with an idea of what he or she wanted and Foster worked with the customer to make work through the, all of the ideas and figure out how they could get it done here and make them happy. And Foster said this is actually going to Germany. So That's correct. It would be we are we have a worldwide <laughs> audience both here and uh, with the work that we do. And she's actually a customer from uh, out at the Renaissance Festival, an old customer who's relocated to Germany. Yeah. Foster and Peter have done the Maryland Renaissance Festival. How many years have you done that, Foster? Uh, this would be uh, the 27th season. It would have been the 28th if they had it last year. Ah. So I don't know whether they're billing it as the 27th or the 28th. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. So, 20-some years Foster and Theta have done... Yeah, just shy of 30 years. Yes. 27 and a half. 27 and a half. 27, 27 ish year. 27-ish. Oh, 37. Theta is the one who keeps track of things. She says it's 37 years that they've done the Maryland Renaissance Festival. So, they've built up quite a number of customers in that number of years. And no, I am not Bruce. Bruce is taking a well-deserved break from the rest of us. And I, as I said earlier, foolishly volunteered to stand in his place. <laughs> we, have, we have resumed classes on a limited basis. If you want to send an email or call the studio, Theta can work through that uh, the process for that. It's only for people who've been vaccinated, I believe. Is that correct, Foster? That's correct. Yes, Foster's or Bruce is definitely stocking up on his dad jokes. I think he's uh, he's writing a book. He's writing a book of them that he's going to come and share with us when he gets back. So this is how we get this sort of smoky effect. The, they touch up the white and just Foster just drags it along in kind of a random pattern here, there, and everywhere. And when he feels like he's got enough, there you go. That's all you get. And as the as he goes through heating What do you it, think? It, it's more than what we had last time in the first application, don't you think? As he goes through the process of heating this up, you will notice that you kind of can't see the white anymore as it gets hot. I'm sorry, I'm Susan. Um, 
So Susan's one of our glass floors. What, Susan, you've been coming in for 10 years? Yeah, about 10 years. She makes her own work that's shown all over the country. A little bit more white. Yeah. As I was saying earlier, Hi, Ted. <laughs> yeah, this is a wacky wrap, Ted. As I was saying earlier, as it, this piece gets a little hotter, you won't be able to see the white anymore. It kind of disappears as it gets hotter, but when it cools back down, you'll be able to see it again. It, it, it's very strange the way this turns out. So Josh, you'll hear that vacuum noise in the background. Josh has turned on the vacuum plate because we're also adding a little bit of gold leaf to this. It's 23 karat gold and that will be put on in kind of a little random fashion as well. So just little pieces of gold that Josh is spreading out. And this is literally held down with a vacuum on this metal plate that has little holes in it. That's the gold plate. thin sheets that are really hard to deal with and just spread out and fly all over the room if you don't, aren't careful with them. So now that, now that they're there, Foster can roll right through and they will all stick onto the outside of the glass. That's all, it, that's all it takes to get that beautiful gold on the outside there. It's such fun working at the Yard of Fire because they're so innovative in figuring out how to make things work. It's not, they build all of their own glory holes, they build the furnace, they built everything in this room. They built the annealers and they've come up with their own way of doing this gold leaf with this um, metal plate with the holes in it. So everything that everything that needs to be done, the guys who work here have come up with a solution on their own and how to make it work. See, now you got to sing the Goldfinger song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bruce would sing it, Susan. Bruce, Bruce would sing it. So y'all can sing it in your heads because if you not want me to sing. I guarantee it. Could probably pay me not to sing it. So now it's just a question of getting the bowl of the of the wine glass. Good morning, Jim. Getting the bowl of the wine glass the way Foster wants it. Cut the neckline. I do need to work on my camera skills. Sorry about that. Yes, David, you're right. They are geniuses here. It's amazing. I feel very lucky to be able to work here and learn from these guys because it's kind of nothing with somebody here can't tell me how to do. Yeah, and the creek's not far down the driveway either. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing, <clears throat> the other nice thing about them being able to do just about anything is that when people come in with a custom request, there's always somebody who can figure out how to make it happen. They, people come in with all kinds of photographs. I like this, I saw this painting, I saw this piece of pottery, I saw this whatever. Can you make it in glass? And one of the guys here will figure out how to make it happen. So it's pretty awesome. They do a lot of custom work here and it's remarkable to see the results. And teach class? And they teach classes, yes. We are back to teaching classes for folks who are, uh, who are vaccinated. 
it's nice to be able to be back to that after so many months of being offline. And since I'm taking my narration, hello Tom, since I'm taking my narration very seriously, I also need to remind you that we do gift certificates. Oh yes, Bridget, yes, please come in and take a class. It would be awesome to meet you. We also have gift certificates. If you want to give a gift certificate for a piece because you're not exactly sure what you want to do. I don't know if, however many, a lot of y'all probably were here last week with um, Jason and his, Jason? Yes, right. And his wife came in and had a custom, Jason had a custom piece made for his wife for their anniversary. But if you're not able to do something like that, you can always get a gift certificate for somebody to, uh, for them to come in to the gallery and pick out one of the pieces that's already made. Yep, and we can email a gift certificate to you so you can have it in time for Father's Day. Yep. Yes, Bruce's voice has gotten really high, you know. That's right. <laughs> Bruce was, Bruce is taking a well-deserved break from the get from the Art of Fire studio today. So I volunteered to take his place. Y'all are stuck with me today. I'm Susan. And uh, I'm kind of fumbling my way through the... Uh, the narrations, and I promised early on not to sing because that's not something you want to hear. Joanna, we would love to have you come and take a class. I'm hoping hoping that uh, travel from across the pond and across the pond to you guys is opened sometime very, very soon because I would love to go and take a class in the UK. <laughs> All right. So, we have this red spot where Josh has to put his foot so that we know exactly where things are. He puts that upright so that Foster can put the glass on for his stem. Sticks it right where he wants it to go. Thank you, David. And then makes a transfer. And he's going to make... Tell me again, Foster, what this... What it is called? A double, the, stem? the stem is uh, called a double marise. A double marise is the, what the stem is called. We, Antoinette, we are making a custom ordered wine glass that has this smoky white on the bowl and then a little bit of gold leaf. It's a custom order for two wine glasses and a decanter. Antoinette, Bruce is taking a break today, so I'm filling in. I'm Susan. Okay. Thank you, Jim. So this the stem is is two little balls as opposed to the the usual long skinny stem. And once Foster is happy with the way that looks, they will add a foot. So. That's what we're looking at so far. It would be a wonderful anniversary gift. You're absolutely right. This is, was ordered by a customer that Foster and Theta met at the Renaissance Festival in Maryland here, who is now living in Germany. So these are, these get to go to the UK, even though we- you know, To Germany. Oh, sorry. To yes, to Germany. Losing it here. No. <laughs> You're just preoccupied. I am preoccupied. So these get to go across the pond. That's where I was going with that. These get to go across the pond, even if we can't do it yet. Yes, to Europe. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> to the EU is what I was really going to say. So, Josh's job right now is to keep that piece hot, but not too hot. 
It needs to keep it warm enough that it's not going to break, but not so warm that it flops around because it's such a delicate balance to keep these pieces aligned exactly as they're supposed to be. Morning, Grace. Thank you, Kristen, for joining them at the Renaissance Festival. We're all hoping that it happens again, happens for real this year. So far, it's on track, so I don't see any reason why it wouldn't at this point unless things get bad again, but we're all hoping that they don't. So now Foster gets his footboard out. We'll spin that around and make that a nice flat foot so that it can sit on the table. Sure they will love to see you, Bridget. As often as you can manage it. Yes, Renee, we do need the Renfest back. Lots of people look forward to it every year. I know it was a disappointment among many that it was canceled for 2020. back to putting it just giving it a little bit of heat this is the second internet actually of the wine glasses the first one was made during this morning's youtube and once we're finished with this we will do the decanter yay so break started welcome kate Hi, Steve. Welcome. Steve is calling, is uh, joining us from England. <laughs> well, we're not sure to today. to, you know, kind of spread it out, but we're not spreading it in our direction. Yes, I, yeah, the transfer is always really cool. It's one of those hold your breath moments when you're uh, ready to figure out whether it's going to work or not, and that's kind of a little quick thing that Foster does, just to make sure this piece is straight, he used the, the uh, yoke there to straighten it up just really quickly. Sorry to hear that, Barbara. Barbara is not going to, Barbara's going to leave us because the signal for her is really bad, so... Oh, no. Oh no, I'm sorry. Ted says that Facebook is hosing the stream and keeps losing comments and clipping the stream. So it sounds like a lot of people are having problems with it today. I'm sorry to hear that, Ted. And Barbara. I hope not I hope not all of you are having trouble with this stream. Renee said hers is going in and out too. That's so frustrating, but unfortunately. Between Facebook, whoop, there we go. Between Facebook and our uh, our connection out here in the in the country, it can be a little dicey sometimes. Oh, good. Thank you, Grace. I'm glad you can hear everything. So 
now Foster needs to uh, finish up the bowl of this wine glass. Make sure that it's the same size as the other one. He's going to cut off the end there just a little bit to even up the glass. Make sure it's thin, as thin as he wants it to be. Love those little flashes of fire. That was a little bit of the wax that we used to lubricate the steel. Yeah, we use wax to lubricate the steel of those uh, those jacks, and sometimes the wax flashes like that, especially inside the pieces. Art of fire, so yes, it's only sensible that we should get fire. <laughs> is that David Hogan again? Yes, it is. <laughs> How did you know? Oh no, Catherine, we're sorry you're sick, but we're glad you're joining us. It's a good excuse to call in sick at work. <laughs> Yes, I think, Kristen, I think you're right. The closer, I don't know why that would be, that the closer we are to Theta, the uh, the worse the connection is. That doesn't make any sense to me because that's right where the modem is. But, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't make any difference where we are in the studio, but it, it does seem to be the case. So what we're going to do, and as soon as Foster knocks this off, we're actually going, going to stop the stream and then restart it. And hopefully you folks will join us again. We'll just be gone for just a couple seconds, and then we'll be back on. And we're hoping that to make a difference with the stream. So as soon as Foster knocks this off, we're just going to end the stream. But don't go anywhere. Just come right back. Join the stream again. And Foster will start at the canner. We'll see if that kind of solves the issues of the sound, because it is pretty bad. Yes, he did push out the lip, Antoinette. Just a look, give just a little bit of a curve. It's a uh, bell-shaped wine glass. And you can see the smokiness of that white and a little bit of the gold. Yeah, looks good. All right, into the kneeler it goes, and we are going to break here for just a couple of seconds, and please join us when we get back. So Thanks. we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to end the stream, but it's going to show back up, and you can join us live, so we'll be right back.